in the previous video we had made a welcome page with the visibility and all but in this video we are going to build something different which is a an appealing layout where since the we have transformed whole welcome page and uh, now it works very simply but this design is what we have created ourselves also this button is what we have created ourselves and how can we do that also we have changed the font to lato how can we do all of this now uh, when you click on the button get started it will show you this welcome to digitology and this is all what we are going to build in this video stay tuned to learn how you can do this. what we are going to do is we will improve this welcome page if you have not seen my previous video you can watch it by clicking on the top right corner so let's continue yes so now what we are going to do is we will change the title which is the hello world we will change the text here and we will change the text of welcome to my channel and also change the button okay so first what we are going to do is we will create new strings the first string will be title which will be hey welcome to digital logic okay and uh, we will have a description also and in that we will write we at digitology make videos on quantum mechanics technology and android development okay now we will change the text of these uh, text views uh, we will change the text of this text view to string title and this to string description okay now we will change the layout and uh, first we will add the margin so here we will keep the margin as 20 dp for the top margins and uh, the side margins also actually we can add padding for the side uh, if you want to leave space at the side so we can do it like uh, 20 dp here and we will get 20 dp from both the ends uh, so you can do padding and s20 dp also okay after padding the text view you will have some space between the borders of the text view and the content inside the text view okay which is the text so now we will continue i think we need to reduce the margin of the text view uh so we will do it to 10 now what we are going to do is we will change the font okay we will use the font lato so for that first we will choose the font family now for that we will go on into the font resource and click on this add button and now we will go on more fonts okay and then we will search lato we will take the regular okay lato regular and now we'll download it so this will download a new font in our project and we can use it okay now we can use it everywhere here also we can use it we will make this uh, bold for that we will use text style and we will keep it as bold and there it is okay now you can see a problem here uh, this the text here in the text view is not aligned in the center so instead of using padding what we are going to do is we'll align the text as text alignment as center okay this will align all the text in the center this is how you can do that and uh, we will remove the i mean we need to keep the padding and uh, it is fine if we want to remove also but it will do it like this so i will prefer to keep the padding okay and now it looks all better and fine as it text is aligned in the center now we will increase the size of the text view uh, we can do that by increasing the text size we will do it to 20 sp and you can see how the size has increased now we will create a shape for the button but before that we need to change the button to material button because 
in button uh, there are some problems like uh, it is quite difficult to change and apply a custom drawable i mean a custom background so we are going to create a custom background right so we will use material button which is better for the custom backgrounds okay so we can write button shape with this will be our custom background for the button and we can do it like this now we will set some corners to it and we will set some radius which will be 20 dp now we can also set a color android color and orange uh, we have not created a new color so we can have black and uh, we will change it from here and here it is okay this is what we will use and you can see the custom shape has been created and we can use it in the background of the material button so for that we will use this it like this and uh, now we will set it to a drawable button shape and now you can see what happens there is no change in the color the reason is we need to change the color by using background tint okay because the color is already set using a specific yeah now you can see and now we will change the text color to black so that the text is clearly visible okay okay yeah fine it looks better we will make some changes if we want in the future as of now we will use this design and now we will change the text and uh, for that we will use this we will remove this hide welcome text and show welcome text and now we will create a new text string which will be get started and here we write get started ok now we will change the text of the material button and we'll set it to string welcome text oh sorry get started okay get start yeah fine yes now you can see it looks good as of now we can change the font family to lato and it will look far more better yes you can see it looks pretty good okay and uh, now we will create a circle okay as a design part for the design, we will use this circle and it will also be a shape. We will use the shape ring, android shape and we will write ring, okay? And then we will uh, set the color for it, solid, android color and it will be probably orange so we can just copy the code we use here, okay? And that's what we will use. And here it is, okay? Yeah. Now. We will create a new view. You can even use an image view, but uh, image view is quite different than this. We will just use view and we will set the background to circle. Okay. This is a better option. And now, first, we will need to change the size of it. It is quite a bit too big. Okay. First, we will set it to 200 dp and 200 dp there is a bit pro issue out there maybe uh yeah here we will use over yes now it won't show that and and here you can see uh the yeah here it is and now we'll create a brand new design oh there's yeah fine Actually, uh, we have not aligned it properly with constants. That's why it is behaving like this. First, we will align it to the center. Then we will have a margin of 20 dp. Also, we will align the text to it. And we will remove the bottom constant. Okay. So, for that, we have to go on this blue dot here on the constant widget. And you have to click on this blue dot. And you can see delete bottom constraint. And you can do that. And here you can see it changed. Now we will set the margin. Here you can see some error has come. We will set the padding for that so that we will have some space. And now you can see the text uh, is 
visible but in a better way and also we'll change the text all caps from true to false okay and now you can see there is a quite a bit difference also we will have some more circles like this but of a different color so we'll copy and create a circle black now this will be of the color black and this will this face is what we are going to use now so this view and now we'll have the background for it which will be circle black but uh, we will decrease its size to 20 dp and 20 dp and let's see what happens we can even increase it if we need to first let's set what we would like to do and here you can see we have a dot all right now you can even have a different thing which is you can select the color from here also like this okay so we can create such similar circles out there we'll have this aligned and a different manner in the constant okay so we'll remove this constant and we'll add this constant uh, sorry we'll remove it again once again we need to remove this one oh just a minute uh, till yeah now we'll remove this now we'll drag the constant here and we'll have it aligned in the center of the top and the bottom okay and here it is we'll also have some margin 10 dp it looks good isn't it so we can create more circles if we want and uh, now we'll remove this i want a black one it's your choice whatever you want to make now i am going to remove the top constraint and we will have it at the bottom here and here i will have a circle with this color now it looks good and also we'll set the margin top from respect with respect to the circle okay and that we can set to 30 dp again so it looks more better and here it seems that the button has expanded vertically a lot we need only horizontal padding okay so we can add it here but uh, it seems that there is no issues right now and that's a good sign and that's our layout for getting started i hope you like it this is what we are going to do and now we are going to change something about the code which is that when the person clicks on this display welcome text button it will show something called toast just a minute i have to have the lambda function in this manner okay now it will show a toast okay even a snack bar is what you can use i will use a toast and you can say welcome to digitology or welcome to my app whatever you like we'll remove this we don't need it and now we will run the project and now our app is visible you can see this this is the layout you can see it looks good now we'll click on the button and you can see here welcome to digitology okay now we are going to make it even better okay so we are going to change this color to a better color like this one now we'll de decrease this one and now we'll change it i guess i changed the color of the wrong one we'll let it be the same color as before which was orange and we have changed this we will also 
decrease the radius to only 5 dp and now we go to activity main or uh, now actually we need to just copy this color and we will set it to the tint and here it is so this is our get started button it looks cool isn't it now we are going to have something even better we will align it like this now we will have something called vertical bias which aligns it in decimals like this you can see we have set it 0.4 you can even set it 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.1 this will align it in it in this format. We will also decrease the size of this circle to 100 dp and it will look much cooler. And uh, it will be better at 150 probably. Yeah, it looks better and we will set it to 0 0.3. And you can see it is aligned almost in the center. Everything is aligned almost near the center. It looks good, isn't it? And also we can change this color to this one. It was not looking so very good to me. You can see what finds you, what you find better. And also we can change this. I will like a gray stone here. I don't want a black color. A bit gray stone. And you can see it looks quite a bit better. And even a more gray stone, you can have a light gray color tone also, like this one. Yeah, all looks pretty good. So, this is our final layout. And now we'll run it. It will take a bit of time. So, let's wait. And now the application has run. You can see this layout. You can click on this get started and you can see this. But here we have a problem once again. We have this status bar color which is not matching our theme. First, we will create a new color with the name orange. Orange and what color we will use. First, we can just copy paste the code and then we can select the color we want from here. I will choose this color. Now we will go into this themes. Okay. We'll not, we will uh, have it here. The status bar item. Then Android. Status bar color. And we will set it to orange. Let's see it now. Also. We have something which I forgot. Android status bar. Android light status bar. Window light status bar. We will set it to true. Okay. And now the app is running. And yeah, it has opened. We will run it once again. So this status bar color will be black we can't change the color but what we did is we use this item android window light status bar color this means that the status bar color will be dark if the status bar background is light and if the status bar background is dark then the text in the status bar will be light which is white you can see now it looks pretty good you can have your own changes to the layout, whatever you like. But this is what I have designed in this video. Thanks for watching.